The Eden Project, which is a massive environmental centre in Cornwall, England, opened to the general public in March 2001. Since its opening, it has averaged 1.8 million visitors a year, both from Britain and abroad. Cornwall was chosen for the site because its mild climate, clean air, ample water and southerly location provided the perfect conditions for the project. This consists of two giant dome-like conservatories made up of hexagons, each approximately nine metres across, and consisting of steel tubes covered with a very strong transparent material, which is guaranteed to last at least 25 years. The two domes, plus a further outdoor area, recreate the natural environments of three different climates, or biomes, as they are called, found around the world. The humid tropics biome recreates the natural environment of the world's warmest regions. It houses hundreds of trees and other plants from the jungles of South America, Africa, Asia and Australia. Trees like banana trees, rubber trees, cocoa, teak and mahogany. It is the largest of the three biomes and the most impressive. The warm, temperate biome is filled with plants from the Mediterranean regions of the world, South Africa, California and the Mediterranean itself. The third biome is the roofless biome. This is an open outdoor area with varied plant life from the temperate Cornwall area, as well as similar climates in Chile, the Himalayas, Asia and Australia. The main purpose of the Eden Project is to show the important relationship between plants, people and resources. It is intended to educate and involve the general public in the major environmental issues of the day and show people how we depend on plants and how we can help to manage and conserve them for mutual survival. Apart from over 100,000 plants, there are exhibits to suit almost everyone. You can study the links between plants and music, plants and health, and plants and sport, for example. And there are themed events too, from tea tasting to chocolate days. The project particularly hopes to interest the 53 million people in Britain who are either not particularly interested in the environment or who feel they are too small to bring about any real change, rather than the three million who are already members of environmental groups, though obviously it welcomes them as well. If you are thinking of visiting the project, it's best either to arrive first thing, 9am, or after 2.30, when things are a little quieter. From research carried out over the past few months, it seems the average stay is between three and four hours. There are about 90 exhibits, so just four minutes spent at each of them would be 360 minutes or six hours. Even then you will probably wish to return another day to take it all in, so why not?